England Championship Wrestling, sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance. Oh, money is legal. You're now the new NCW tag team champion. Wow, you're the new tag team champion. You're the new tag team champion. No, no, you're the new tag team champion. We, the we new the new tag team champion. Are you the new tag team champion? Are we dreaming though? No. Pitch me, pitch me, pitch me, pitch me. What? Let me get you. Come on. Ah. <laughs> we still, we still we're still tag team champion. We really tag team champions, man. Tell me what you feel like. Tell me what you feel like. It was a dream come true. It's like going to Disney, <laughs> but without really going. <laughs> Disney? That's like Disney without even going. Uh, I'll take that, man, but. Our goal when we came to NECW was to win these belts right here. And <laughs> second show win, and we're the new tag champs. Like, yes. where does this happen, we're man? We're the new tag champs. All right, all right. I told you that. I, I established that already. We're the new tag champs. All right, we're the new okay. tag champs. All right. All right, what's next? What do you guys have? I said, um, oh, you know what? Oh, no, no I'm thinking about I got a plan no, for right, the belts. Okay, okay, okay. You first. Want to hear mine? No, no, no. I was thinking about going to Japan with the tag team belts. I was thinking that too. I was, I was ahead of you. You don't mind me this? No, I'm, I'm ahead I of you. I know we're this, but... What yeah. I do, what I do is what I do. What you do is what you. I was I'm going to be with you, though. I was going to take, <laughs> we're gonna take these belts to, to Japan. Land of the Rising Sun. Zero one. Come in. Right there. We're right here. tag team champions. All money is legal. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh hey, hey, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> the the Boombox. <laughs> Perfect combination, yes, man. Oh, man. Ah. January 13th in Malden, Massachusetts. Now Jason, the last time we saw you here in New England Championship Wrestling, you were the victim of a devious attack by Ilya Markopoulos. How are you feeling after that attack? Ilya, Elijah, whatever it may be, all I'm gonna say is this. Fabulous T, you're the man that orchestrated that. The problem isn't with you, Elijah, and it certainly isn't with a true-to-life best friend like Darling Damon. For you see, they don't understand that I've taken a brand new path in my wrestling career. I've came back to be the man that I should be, that I've always been. And that's the man who doesn't take crap from anybody, that's always been the smallest dog in the fight, but has had the biggest fight out of every one of them big dogs. So if you see, being the longest reigning tag team champion of all time here in New England Championship Wrestling, the B to the B to the B has a whole different, let's say, meal on his plate for the agenda. If you see, I've held every title here in New England, all except for one, the most prestigious heavyweight championship here in New England, and that is the NECW heavyweight title. If you see, in the year 2012, everybody out there is gonna know why I am the boldest, the baddest, and when it's all said and done, simply the best, my friend. All right, Jason, well, we learned recently that you've had a little bit of personal tragedy. We know your father just recently passed away. That combined with the problems you've had with your former friends. We're gonna cut it right there, all right? I'm a molded resident, graduate of Malden High School, 1992. I grew up right here in this neighborhood known as Edgeworth, all right? My dad passed. We're gonna put that to the back. I come here to wrestle to put my mind. And then you come here tonight, and 
And you want to insult Mr. Fabulous himself? I want to invite you to my country. You want to insult me on TV? Shut him out. Let me tell you something, Triple B. It's a good thing that your dad is dead. Because he'd be turning in his grave. And how much of an embarrassment you are to be a son. No, don't. Uh oh. Our cartoonist steps over the line and all hell's breaking loose. Friday night, May 18th, at the Millerville Men's Club, 8 Lloyd Street, Blackstone, Mass., with an 8 p.m. bell time. Featuring a double tag team main event. New NECW Tag Team Champions, All Money is Legal, defend the titles for the first time against Adrenalize. Tank the Tank teams with the Boston bad boy Jason Rumble to take on the statement Ilya Markopoulos and a mystery partner managed by Mr. Fabulous Tony Ulysses. Plus, World Women's Wrestling Champion Alexis Nevaeh takes on Adriana in a non-title grudge match. 
former NECW heavyweight champion, the real deal Brandon Locke, battles Chase Del Monte. Julian Starr returns to NECW action to battle Johnny Thunder. Tickets are on sale now at the Millerville Men's Club, online at NECWWrestling.com, or charge by phone by calling 1-800-838-3006. That's 1-800-838-3006. Don't miss New England Championship Wrestling, Double Intensity, Friday night, May 18th, at the Millerville Men's Club in Blackstone. Adriana, we've heard in the locker room that you're calling out Alexis Nevea for the Triple W Championship. That is very true. Alexis, she is a superb competitor, but unfortunately, she's not in my class. As a matter of fact, she lacks class, and I'm not talking about weight. Okay, well, how confident are you after your countout victory that you could defeat Alexis by pinning her shoulders to the mat or making her submit? I am supremely confident. I will beat Alexis and any other chick that crosses my path. I am the best woman to ever grace Triple W. And let's face it, red and gold looks way better on me. I'm find my center. I don't want to ruin my makeup. I never intended to beat Alexis the way I did, but the next time I do beat her, it will be for one, two, three, because I am no one-hit wonder. This is a National Wrestling Alliance special report. Sunday, April 8th, 2012 in Glendale, California. The NWA World's Heavyweight Championship changes hands as Colt Boom Boom Cabana defeats Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. This is Cabana's second reign as champion, previously defeating Pierce in March 2011, though Pierce regained the championship just 48 days later. The feud between these two men runs long and deep, and rather than simply exercising his automatic rematch clause, Pierce, now the former champion, issued an unusual challenge. I smile when I'm angry. I cheat and I lie. Some say I do what I have to do to get by. But I know what's wrong and I like to think I know what is right. But I know I'd die for the truth in my secret life. It's been more than 10 days now since Easter Sunday when Colt Boom Boom Cabana took the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship from me for the second time. And I've given myself this opportunity to think about what happened because everything was so perfect. The plan absolutely, unbelievably structured, formatted, groundwork laid to perfection, the family stone in perfect placement. And on Easter Sunday, it all came raining down like an incredibly unstable house of cards. And everything that I said to that point, everything I talked about when I referenced March 6, 2011, I now get to relive. I can add a second date to this horribly recurring nightmare, April 8th, 2012 now, with Colt Cabana orchestrating it all. And so I'm left to think about the future, because I kept saying over and over and over again that only the dead have seen the end of the war. But when is enough enough? I need to know for myself, maybe the war should be over for me. Cabana, you've beat me twice for wrestling's greatest prize. Forever etched in the history books will be that irrefutable fact. And every morning when I look in the mirror, I'm going to know that 
and I'll never be able to hide from it. And I need to know for myself, is that enough to hang them up? Is that enough for me to put the boots on the shelf? Is that enough for me to put the robes away in a closet? It is enough for me. Cabana, is it really enough for me to look you in the face and say, you are better? Because maybe you are. The record, it speaks for itself. Your record against me is a hell of a lot better than my record against you. And as the relenting champion, sure, bylaws dictate that I get a mandatory rematch. But what would beating you once prove? Not much. You've beaten me twice for the belt. For that matter, Cabana, what would beating you twice prove? Because all that would do is pull us even, wouldn't it? I've had 10 days to think about this, and I think it's appropriate now. So here's what we're going to do. Beating you once isn't enough. Beating you twice is not enough. You and I, Colca Banner, are on an entirely different level of hate. I want you in a best of seven series. And before you can say, stop, wait, you've got nothing to prove, you're right, you've got nothing to prove. You beat me twice. I need to know for myself. I need to be able to prove to me. I'm better than you. I always have been, I always will be, and I need to know it. I need to tangibly prove it. I need the record books to reflect what I'm saying to you. So here's what we're going to do. Because you will never escape. Coca Ben Adam Pearson, a very, very final best of seven. And before you look me in the face and tell me that I've got nothing to put on the line, let me tell you right now unequivocally without a shadow of doubt, you are wrong. Because I'm going to give you the greatest opportunity anyone's ever given you. I'm going to give you the chance of your wrestling lifetime. I'm going to give you the opportunity, Coca Bannon, to shut me up forever. Because it's simple. I beat you in a best of seven. Then all I do is validate everything I've ever said. I prove without any question in anybody's mind. I'm the better man today. I'm the better man yesterday. I'm the better man tomorrow. I'm better. But if you beat me. If you beat me. You take away everything that I've been known for. You take away everything that I've earned. You take away everything that I've built. You take away everything that you've already taken. Because if I can't beat you, Colt Cabana, in a best of seven series, I will walk away. You heard me right. If I can't beat you, Colt Cabana in a best of seven. My career will be over. I will leave forever the NWA. Now the ball's in your court. Are you a man? Or are you a mouse? More updates on this situation as news becomes available. Sean Gorman, what are your thoughts on the Dynasty being stripped of the NECW Tag Team titles? It's a disgrace. It's an outrage. You know, it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. And tonight here in Blackstone is no different. As far as I'm concerned, a great travesty took place. Okay, well, what's next for the Dynasty? You know, Al, I'm not going to stand here and lie. I never do. Nothing lasts forever, and nor should it. Maybe it's time to dissolve the dynasty. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. 
I am going to stand here for the first time ever in my career and tell you, Al Basler, the manager of champion Sean Gorman doesn't have an answer. I don't know. Okay, well, aside from the dynasty, what's next for Sean Gorman? <laughs> you know, I've been down and out in this business once, twice, maybe even three times. Regardless of DC Dillinger and Brian Fury being stripped of the tag team titles, regardless of the travesty that took place here in Blackstone tonight, I am still going to be around. Sean Gorman is going to be here for a long, long time. I will be heard.